passed and the ideas are flowing fast and furious. The debate's in full force and Socrates has the floor. Who enters? Alcibiades, drunk, a beautiful man, hopelessly in love with his mentor, Socrates. And uniquely, in all of these dialogues, Socrates doesn't get the last word. Alcibiades does. Why? Because passion, Plato seems to be saying, is essentially and mercilessly human. And the best that we can hope to do is to quell it through relentless discipline. To Socrates, the healthy life is comprised of constant focus by the individual to excise those forces that weaken or, or confuse his understanding of the world around him. He implores us to devote our lives to this kind of control, meaning our every waking moment. Socrates recognized what every philosopher and religion, for that matter, in the history of the world, from Plato to Aristotle, from Epicurus to the Stoics, from the Judeo-Christians to the Buddhists, have all observed, which is that the balance needed for a happy life is illusory. And as soon as in our gorgeously flawed human way, we think that we've attained it, we're pretending divinity and we're gonna crash like Icarus flaming into the sea. So think about that this weekend when you think you're on top of the world and then you pour a pitcher of beer down your throat and chase that upperclassman who's out of your league. <laughs> Aristotle is next week. Don't just look at it as words. Imagine the scene. These were people, they were alive like you and me. They thought these things. Breathe them into life. <laughs>